Hi everyone and welcome back to a, another weekly flip. So this is week 40 and as you can see we have a new planner here. I'm not currently using both of them, I am currently using my personal. But this past week I did set up my pocket very very roughly. So I just wanted to show you that as I thought it might be interesting. Um, this is my Pocket Gelio XL and this is the anthracite colour. It's a beautiful grey. It's really, really pretty. And like I said, I did just kind of really simply um, set this up one day. I was thinking about using a Pocket Tien, but I don't have any Pocket Tiens. So the closest thing was this one. So I thought I would just do a quick little flip. I don't know if I will end up using this or not, but it's now set up and ready for if I want to jump in. So I've just got some jelly paper here and then a little decorative paper with some sticky notes on the back. I have a Foxy Fix dashboard and then a little page marker. This is just acetate from my shop. Then this first section was going to be to-do lists. Um, I've got a little task manager there, some notes sheets, and then just some lined and grid sheets. Then I went into my monthlies and I did actually back plan the whole year, which took forever. Um, but I just really wanted to see if I could fit everything in the boxes and for the most part I managed there was a couple of days that I did struggle when it was super super full um, but I was quite surprised at how well I managed this is this month and then I did continue for the rest of the year as well I also did print out 2023 and popped that all in there uh, let's see so that is 2023. I then printed out these kind of um, like a month on one page. So it just has a tick box and then or a box and then a number and then a little line. And I was planning on using this for gratitude. I thought that would be quite a nice insert to use that for. And then I did print out a tracker. All these inserts are from peanuts palico i just had most of them already so on my computer so i was just using what i already had and then the weekly here so this is a freebie from the peanuts palico facebook group so i did write in the dates i just haven't filled anything out and i do have a few of those in there then I have some dailies, so these are from Planner Room Shop and it's just a day on two pages as I thought a day on one page might be a little bit too small. This is just a divider that I found from my shop so I just popped that in there and then at the back I popped some health log inserts so I just have a few of these and the idea was to I do a daily check-in every day so I would just jot down the date and then any symptoms and how I'm feeling that kind of thing and then the plan was to transfer it into my personal rings if I did end up using this and then at the back I just have a little card holder wallet I think this is from Filofax yep I didn't put anything in the pockets but that is my quick little setup of my Pocket XL. I might give it a try this coming week. We shall see. I just loved how small and portable she was. And I just popped the essentials in. I could probably fit a little bit more in uh, if I needed a few more inserts. But I did just really want to keep it super duper simple. And you can see compared to my... Um, personal just how small <laughs> and compact she is so after I back planned all the monthlies I just thought I will stick with personal so 
I am currently using my personal now. I have changed a few things, so we will go into that now. I have sticky notes here, some page flags here, and then at the back pocket I have some stickers and a little picture that my daughter drew. In the zip I also have more sticky notes. This is from Royal Planner. This is from Ollie Clip. I have a code Nicola20 for Royal Planner. And then none of my uh, decoration has changed that much. So this is journaling home. This little card keeps falling off. My dashboards. This was my shop. And then my overview. And my memory sheet. Then my monthly. I do still have the whole of 2022 in here. I did think about taking the first six months out but I do really enjoy having it all in here so I just thought I would keep it in and then I did uh, purchase these from crossbow printables I think it's crossbow planner co or something like that now I think they changed the name but I liked the idea of having the little goals and the must do tasks for the month I'm not really using these important dates down here but I've just popped some of those in so I've got one for November and then Jan uh, December, my kids' school schedule here, and then it goes into the 2023. This is just from Peanuts Planico freebie on her Facebook group. Then my weeklies, I'm still really enjoying this weekly from Peanuts Planico. This is this week. I got rid of my home section, you'll see a little bit later on, so I am just kind of jotting down the meals that we had on my weekly as well. And I also moved this divider from my dailies and popped it in my weeklies. So I have a few weeks in there. I did take some out to reduce the bulk a little bit. Then I have my little to-do section. Um, so I've got some to-dos there just with a little page flag and then a little sticky note of things that I need to buy. Again another pocket and this has just got pictures of my babies in and then you get to my daily. So I've got a bunch of sticky notes here as well and I was using the file facts just lined paper to kind of jot things down. I was kind of missing a little bit of structure so I did move to these dailies again from Crossbow Planner, Crossbow Printable Co. Um, so it's just my second day using, using them and I'm enjoying it so far. I kind of wished that this bit here was different but I don't know what, what I would have, maybe appointments or something. I guess I can just cross it out and write them there anyway. So I do have a few of these printed and ready to go. I've just got my daughter's spellings um, for her test. And then this picture is still the same, more pictures. Again, journal in home. And this is still my notes section. I did cut it down a little bit. So I just have mostly Stalogy paper in here now. But I do still have some sm plans with some post-it notes on this section is new so i really wanted somewhere to do some more personal journaling and i think the only place that i'm going to feel safe to do that is in here just purely because when i've filled the page i can rip it out and tear it up and throw it away so i am trying that out i do have a little paper clip whilst I wait to fill the page up but that is that then some pictures from my kiddos and it goes into my list section which is still the same um bucket list and then reading love. some finance stuff here some shop stuff expense stuff and then some more notes as well. Then I have my little content planner section. I don't know 
if I'm going to keep this little section. It's tiny. It's not very big at all. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't like to plan out my posts that much. Like here, I've got my weekly videos. I do want to do another video this month, but I haven't, I don't like to plan exactly when I'm going to do that. So these might come out. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. Then I have my gratitude here. I'm just using these. And then this little mood tracker key is also new. So this is from Crystal Plans on Instagram. And then I am using this little mood tracker here, which is from uh, Monthly Joy. And you can like plot a little graph here. You can do a little reflection. I just thought that was nice. And then I have my habit tracker. So I did pop a habit tracker back in here as well. And I just went for this one, Peanuts Planner Co. And I am tracking a bunch of stuff on the other page. So I just have a few of those in here. And then I have my workout tracker, which I need to update. And then the back is still health stuff, which is still the same. So I have the kids at the back, pets, and then my sort of stuff. So I have um, my main health log, my monthly check-in, uh, weight log, body measurements, cycle tracker. And then the kids each have the health logs and any notes or anything. Um, a height and weight tracker and then pet information. This little pocket is still the same, I think. So I've got a little um, message from my husband. So then on this side, I have a five-year vision. I have my daughter's password and things and I've got a planner card kind of returned to me if I lose it and then the back here is quite simple here's just the same as well along with the back pocket and that is it I hope you enjoyed this flip if you have any questions let me know and if not I'll see you in my next video bye